not the favourites. Gurney is an overwhelming favourite to beat Sulovic, according to the layers, which... It's an interesting call. It's an interesting call, yeah. He's 11-2 uh, to two in the betting. Sulovic at 7-1. 10-1, to one. Ten to one, bar those four. Bar those three now with Smith right. out of the way. Hey, look, Mensah was a little bit fortunate against Christo Reyes earlier on. He felt like he was the second-best player and relied on Christo missing a whole host of darts no, in the middle of the game. Either. But he won it. And with the fans here tonight, it could help carry him over the line to a second Euro Tour title. Mm. One hundred five. We shall see. One nine eight remaining. Great dart. Oh, no, there's that angle you were talking about, left to right again, or right to left, I should say. Anyway, Price. Unable to find the trouble so far. Down to 116. Stayed there. Well, okay, he's down to a two dart potentially from 96, but cross 133. Three. Well, he's not going to finish this now. He's trimmed the three off. 43. So going with a chance of a break it. Well, oh, still on. Triple 19 for double. Nope. Gerwin Price will do anything Probably to leave double top, nine. even if it's last dart into the double 18. Great dart. He loves, stuff. he loves double 18 normally, Rob Cross. How's his double nine? 72. Off target. Price then, two darts at tops. For the break, and listen to the reaction. Derwin Price, more than aware of the significance of that one, he has the break against the world champion. Shake of the head from Rob Cross is his look about to run out here. Derwin Price kick-started his campaign with a 6-2 win over Scott Taylor on Saturday. Averaged over 100 in that one. Had a terrific 11-dart leg in the fifth leg for a 5-0 lead that day as well against Taylor. Rammed home his authority in that one. I think he was relieved. I mean, he's had this Thursday night woe in the Premier League, and I think now that's completely out of the way. Maybe, just maybe, he can regroup, refocus, and just try his luck elsewhere. Could do in the world of good. That will do. Rob Cross the world of good. Ooh, right back at it. this. Oh. Doesn't know where to stand here, of course. Forty-three. Just forty-three. Big visit here for Gerwin. Trouble twenty. We bleed at some. 65. Probably not enough. Rob Cross mm. may look at the 18s. Well, not the four off Rob. Again, he's missed. Went hit the three last time when he was in this position, and he's hit the single four there. Okay, he's down to 32, but Gerwin Price might well fancy his chances here. Maybe not. It was a good lie there. I thought he might have been looking at two tops. Robbie after that first dart. 32 for Rob Cross to break straight back in this one. 13 data. Very impressive stuff from the world champion. It's one break apiece. It's two apiece. Yeah, go in price. While he was in the Premier League. The Players' Championship Series. He did have one run to a semi-final in the Players' Championship. More like it. But his best stuff has actually come as soon as he was eliminated from the Premier League because we went for the weekend to Barnsley and he played eight games. There was a, a quarter-final run and there was a, a board final run. Was that the Mickey Mansell one? Uh, yes, Mickey Mansell actually beat him in the quarter-final, went on to win the title. But 
Owen Price in those eight games, three times he threw over the 100 average, and one of them was 112 and a half. Like, that's, that's top, top class stuff, and it's stuff that he hadn't been producing while he was in the Premier League, and I think he was just, he was getting Six fed nine. up. He wasn't enjoying the game. But he's enjoying himself here tonight. 77. Looking for a little bit of revenge after that defeat last time out to Rob Cross in the quarterfinals in the Euro Tour. And he has had runs at the European Tour going, Price, and looked like a genuine title contender. And it's taken something big from somebody like Peter Wright to stop it. Or MVG. Now, one of the guys who've been dominating in the Euro Tour. Fantastic setup. Love that, didn't he? Very much on course here for a third successive break of throw. One apiece, back to back. 140. Gerwin Price leaving himself tops once again here. And finding tops, and it is a third successive break. And it's a 13 dart break as well, just as was the case with Cross in the last leg. 13 dart break is met by a 13 dart break. Yeah, quarterfinal here, quarterfinal last weekend, another quarterfinal in Risa towards the end of last year. And another 180 there as well. And that last eight appearance in Risa in the penultimate leg of last year's European Tour was one of eight quarterfinals in the second half of 2017 for Gerwin Price. He, he's almost turning into the new Ian White, some might say. And then he had that experience on the World Series stage as well. Four perfect darts. I wish people would just not even go there. Do not do it. Already seen a double missed for the nine darter this weekend. That's as close as you're going to get to the nine darter on the Euro circuit. Wild one at the bullseye. Yeah, we've had a few nine dart legs this year. We've had a few recently, actually. Corey Cappy hit one in Australia. Dawson Michelle hit one on uh, Development Sewell. Nathan Aspinall got one in the Players' Championship recently as well. And I think Stephen Bunting also hit one in Euro qualifying for Zvola as well, which was fairly recently. So take your pick elsewhere if you want nine darters. Eddie Boots and hit one in Super League last weekend. They've been hit all over the place, except on the Euro Tour. Double top. The Iceman is edging closer to a semi-final shootout with Joe Cullen. If he can win this one, we will see a new finalist on the European Tour circuit. Neither Cullen nor Price have made it that far before. Huge, huge opportunity. The girl in Price has to get two more legs. Yeah, Gerwin Price has gone close to, uh, well, he's gone close to semi-final, shall we say, two quarter-finals in 2016 as well, made the last eight in 2015 in Gibraltar and in 2014 at the European Darts Trophy. So yeah, 2014. a semi-final would be new territory for uh, Gerwin Price, and as he say, I mean, Joe Cullen's made semi-finals before, but never a final, as you say. Big incentives for lots of players still here. I think the biggest incentive of the lot is for Sulevich, though, to win in front of his home crowd. He would love that on his CD. Aha! Uh -huh. Gerwin Price did oh, make the semi-finals of the opening Euro Tour last year. The German Darts Championship. Of course he did, yeah. He, he lost made. to Peter Wright. Yes. Five, yeah. I thought he'd made, uh, he'd made a semi-final. Yeah, the no, abundance of quarters and then the, the one semi-final that mm. I overlooked. And it's, it, in my, that, it's in my notes right here, he I was can't in, believe I've missed that. He was incredible that weekend, Gary Price. I genuinely thought he was going to go on and win it, and it was Peter Wright who stopped him. <clears throat> That's a great setup shot from Rob Cross. But this is not something that Gerwin Price has to panic about. It's just a hold of throw. And Gerwin knows two steady hold of throw will be enough to see him over the line. But he's up against the world champion, a man who has made a habit over the last year and a half producing massive legs at crucial points. Well, he needs to all five, although Gerwin Price is on 173 anyway, so no need to press any panic buttons just yet, but this will be a slight concern for 
fans and backers of Rob Cross. Mm, leaving yourself five. I think I think we should press the panic button now. Panic! Panic! Panic, Ron! We don't Ron, Ron Papa, we don't have a panic button to press. We need to find one. He's There's no there. panic, it's Rob Cross. He doesn't panic, he's oblivious to pressure. He mm. eats pressure. Price on tops. Will he get the chance? Will he get the chance? No, he won't. Oh, a right smile on the face of Rob Cross, but I think deep down he'll still be slightly anxious here. But Huge he's been shot. there before. He's been there before, Rob Cross. Uh, only Michael Van Gerwen oh, has been able to stop Rob Cross when he's made it to Euro Tour finals with no MVG here. As soon as we knew that Van Gerwen wasn't going to be here this weekend, there are a lot of people who immediately thought this is Rob Cross's weekend. But he should have lost to Steve West. Huge, huge let off. Could have lost earlier. Could have lost earlier. And here, he's probably still second favourite. I know he trails. This is an opportunity. Maybe just stepping on the gas here, though. A ton 40. Well, it's not a ton 40. Just a ton. Still Price's leg to lose, you feel, this one. Especially if he finds one more treble here. Going Price has only missed one dart at double in this game he is averaging up in the very high 90s there you go 98 11 points clear of rob cross he's led a charmed life this weekend rob cross so far but his luck might be running out against the welsh number one oh, magnificent oh, start leaves himself double 12 and the way he's finishing as well as he's saved and four from five so far there's every suggestion that he'll make it five from six I won't care if it's five from seven or eight as long as he gets this double 12 and moves to within one leg of the semi-finals of the Austrian Darts Open that's exactly what he's done no messing around either the finishing tonight from Gerwin Price has been very very good indeed very strong and he's one away now Rob Cross, 5-3 down against West yesterday. Can he do it again? 100. This could that be a very the, tall order. That was the look of a man from Gerwin Price there who feels he has got this game in the bag. Oh. Ooh. And the five is only just hanging on. This, it's a bit of a cliche, but I'll say it anyway. It's often the most difficult leg to win. There. You are sitting next to Cliche Man there. Well, look. What he's got to do, make sure he doesn't go spongy. Give it the full gun. To use some big Ronisms there. Great looking dart that. Mm. Yeah, just a step over slightly to the left hand side to try and find oh, the gap. It actually went into the right hand corner. It's another ton 40 after a very sluggish start in this leg. And he's in a fairly good position here, Gerwin Price, to wrap it up here and now because Rob Cross once again is straight away from the big number. Shaking the head. Almost Rob shaking his hands there as well. Yeah, I, I don't think Rob Cross believes that he can turn this around right now. It's just not worked out for him tonight. It is not very often you see Rob Cross in action and he doesn't even average 90, but that's happened in this quarter-final so far. And the 167 won't go. Go in price should get a match dart. He might get two for just his second win over the world champion Rob Cross and to book his place in a second Euro Tour semi-final. Double 12 the target. Wonderful stuff from Gerwin Price after a horrendous debut campaign in the Premier League. The Iceman is back. 101 average almost. 